Hi everyone and welcome to Jim Bobo Balloons. Today you're going to need a heat sealer, a Bobo Balloon, a pump and a 260. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be stretching our Bobo Balloon. So really get in there and stretch your bobo balloon by working your way around, flipping it over, doing the same thing all around. Make sure that you get to the fold and also stretch along the fold of the balloon. So after you stretch your balloon, if you're happy with it, go ahead and, and, and start. But I also wanted to show you. So if I was to put um, a bouquet or any type of flowers inside, I'm going to be needing to use the neck of the balloon. So I'm going to stretch the neck of the balloon um, just to show you the technique of how I, I do it when I go to do like put a bouquet inside um, the bobo balloon. Yep, so go ahead, pump up the balloon. We want to be able to pump up the balloon after we stretch it to make sure that the balloon is expand to the right size that we want it then we're going to deflate the balloon and then we're going to pump it again if you weren't satisfied with the shape of your balloon or you needed to stretch the balloon more go ahead and do so um, before you put more air into it Just a quick tip before you cut the balloon open, um, grab the side and make sure that there's no wrinkle towards the fold, which is where I am um, pointing to at the moment. So make sure that there's no wrinkle before you cut it, because you will find that if there is wrinkle and you go to seal the balloon, the balloon is just going to open back up and you're going to have to try and reseal it again so make sure that you pull tightly and let all the wrinkles out um, from the opening that you've cut and make sure that it's flat like that before you go to seal the balloon So this is the technique that I use, I pump a little bit of air into the bobo balloon then I grab the fold of where I'm going to cut my balloon um, then I make sure that I try and squeeze the air out slowly and then I grab it and try and, and pull it 
a little bit by bit to make sure that there's no wrinkle towards the fold before I go ahead and cut the balloon. Okay, if you see here, I've managed to pull the wrinkle away from the fold before I go ahead and uh, cut the balloon open. Try and cut close to the fold if you can. Okay, so this is how it should look like. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead now and seal that up. Um, the temperature on my heat sealer is set at 4. Um, this works perfect for me, so you can either have it at 3 um, and a half, but I prefer 4 because it does the, it, it works for me. Okay, if you go to seal it, you want to have a little bit of the um, edge of the balloon hanging just a little bit over. See how I've got that brown mark on my heat sealer? That gives me an indication that that's where the seal will be. So I like to just go over just a little bit before I press down to seal it up slowly gonna peel the balloon off the heat sealer see see this is what you want your balloon to look like when you're sealing um, your balloon so you want it to have the line and a little bit hanging over but don't worry about that because we're gonna cut it um, once we finish with the balloon so keep going okay see how i've got the lines going over each other that's what you want um, so keep going until you completely seal the balloon Okay, once you've sealed your balloon and you're happy with it um, and making sure that you did the crisscross technique when sealing the balloon, uh, we will be cutting away all that extra bit hanging over the balloon. Okay, so just watch how I cut the edge of the balloon. I try not to come too much over to where um, I've sealed it. I just want to have a little bit so that way when the balloon is pumped and the balloon is expand, um, it doesn't reopen or pop open on you. Um, so try and just leave a little bit. Um, towards the lining where we've sealed the balloon. Today I'm not fast forwarding my video um, only because I want you to learn step by step on how I seal my bobo balloons.
okay so I'm happy with that um, this is the way that I seal my boba balloon um, I hope this helps you with your journey and if it does please comment down below how you went with it um, but yeah this is the way that I do um, my boba balloon when I go to seal it up um, if I was to put something inside the boba balloon Before you completely pump the balloon, you want to make sure that no air is coming out of um, the balloon or where you've sealed it. So just bring it up to your cheek, make sure no air is coming out of it and if there's no air coming out of it, you're good to go. Sorry, just doing a Happy little dance for my one year old here. If the bobo balloon is not round enough for you, just press down on it and keep going until you're happy with it. Okay, once you're happy with that, the neck of the balloon, twist it. So go ahead and pull the neck of the balloon before tying it. I like to tie it two times, but it's totally up to you what you want to do with it. Um, you can also use 260 um, to tie around it just to make sure that it's secure and no air is coming out from that end. Earlier on in the video I showed you that I was pulling on the neck of the balloon. If I was making something like what you see here um, I would be sealing the neck of the balloon to make sure no air is coming out of it. But that's another video for me to do to show you how to make something like this. And that's it guys. I hope you learn something on how to seal your boba balloon if you were to cut it open and reseal it with your heat sealer i hope this video helps you with your boba journey um, please follow us on instagram and facebook and also subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos and updates thank you and bye for now from little jim bobo and myself